the billions of dollars that are going to be pumped into the Texas economy in this area is just amazing. I think it's going to transform this area from uh, sleepy southern Texas to uh, uh, something we can all be proud of in the future. There's opportunities for education, for service industry, for virtually any commercial enterprise and the needs that so many of these companies have that demand uh, technical growth, um, support infrastructure. So it's really exciting to see what, the, what changes are going to be on the forefront, not only now, but probably for the next 20, 30 years. Uh, the compelling thing today so far is, is the amount of workforce resources, training, uh, incentives, uh, tax credits, and, and also veterans outreach that, that creates a better workforce and the ability to, uh, to attract and train the kinds of, of employees that we need to grow South Texas. Six things come up over and over again when we look at why Texas business works. There's six factors that I believe are well illustrated in the tremendous growth we've seen from businesses related to the Eagleford Shale. So Texas is a state with natural resources, a predictable regulatory environment, low taxes, a fair legal system, a strong workforce, and the unique Texas entrepreneurial spirit and love of freedom on which our state was founded. We all work closely with our employers to connect them with skilled labor. In fact, in fiscal year 2012, more than 90,000 local employers received workforce business services. 920,000 individuals received Texas Workforce Solution Employment Services. And approximately 35,000 individuals received workforce training. So to further help our employers meet their skilled labor demands, the legislature passed, and the governor recently signed, a bill that transfers the administration of adult basic education from the Texas Education Agency to us at the Texas Workforce Commission. We're still working out the details of the transfer, but the overall goal will be to offer skill certifications and skill training programs with adult basic education. Just to give you an overview, recruiting the best possible candidate you're putting postings in free, so if you don't have a budget, here's the best way to get your job out there. A lot of people say, put the candidates out and work in Texas. I will tell you that it's a lot of individuals who have graduated, a lot of individuals have lost their job at no fault of their own, and they have to be in the system. And it's anyone who's actually receiving a benefit from the state or federal government. One of the best things about this system is that if the individual doesn't have the skill set, you will never achieve them. They will never become a match for your job. The state of Texas, again, looks at veterans as, as that high target. So every job that's out there is held for 48 hours. And only veterans can see those jobs for those first 48 hours. After that, it's open to the public. A lot of businesses don't take advantage of this, but you get a tax credit when you hire a veteran. A lot of the oil and gas companies target veterans because they feel like they're the best possible <coughs> person to, to work for a company like an oil and gas company. They're ready to go to work. They've got a lot of training behind them. All of our member companies have dedicated veteran hiring programs, but for the sake of time, I'm only going to highlight a few that you see across all of our companies. Our military companies have been named the top veteran employers by military veteran magazines and a whole host of other sources across this, across this country. Companies like Chesapeake Energy that hired over 500 veterans in 2012 alone. And this is duplicated again across all of our companies. Our member, our member companies also have numerous military transition programs which allow our soldiers to transition to the civilian life and make it a better life for them and their family. The returning veterans, you can get them all the mental health, you can get them health care. You got to get them in, in, in certain circumstances, you got to get them in the school and get the education. But at the end of the day, for them to have a truly successful transition, it is employment. And that's why we, we, we've constantly and we've shifted a large part of our effort to networking with employers and working with employers. Since July of 08, we realized one thing. 
the easiest you can make it for employers to hire veterans, the more that they will hire. These are some of the programs that the colleges and in, in universities in South Texas are putting together to address the workforce issues needed by uh, industry. And then just finally, um, this, this relates back to small business in, in the sense that what our goal in working with communities in South Texas is to make sure that the communities are sustainable. Now right now it's not feasible for communities in South Texas necessarily to be able to actively diversify. They've got their hands full with the oil and gas activity. But they should at least be thinking about what, what sorts of other industries they could try to attract or other types of businesses that they could generate um, uh, employment with. Uh, you have the opportunities to, to upgrade all kinds of amenities and make, and, and make it a desirable place to live to keep people here who will be around as long as there's oil production. And it will be oil production for a long time. You're in for a, a, a lot of prosperity here and, and hopefully a chance to really take advantage of some of the opportunities and, and resources that, that creates for you, for you to uh, do those things, to do some planning, to do some thinking about what you want the place to look like in 20 years and what you need to do now to make that happen and take advantage of the resources you have, the, co the cooperation you get from companies right now and a lot of other things that can, can leverage a lot of things and make that really happen.